Yes, well, look, they're making Lost in Space into a movie. Oh, I loved that as a child. Oop, I'm dating myself. Uh, dating yourself? That's pathetic. Even you can do better than you. <laughs> this from a man who parties with Pam, as in a can of. <laughs> You know, the next time you give your old clothes away, why don't you just, just stay in here? <laughs> All right, that's it. I don't want you two in the same room ever again. Why? why? Because I can't stand it anymore. That's why. What? This! Why would a woman go to such lengths to have a baby? You know, in fact, I was thinking about having one of those operations, but then I thought, mm, what if I marry a wealthy man who insists I produce an heir? Oh, stop deluding yourself. Go ahead and have the vasectomy. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I have such a good comeback. But don't you have to go wash your boss's underwear? <laughs> Niles, my eggs are all dried up. The gene pool is saved. Damn. Just plain tomato juice. Don't you have anything hard? Not for you. <laughs> Why the sour pause? You're in a hotel full of drunken men who've been up gambling for 72 hours. You could get lucky. You think? Well, I think it's very distasteful of Maxwell to be dating so soon. Isn't a decade the standard period of mourning? Die and let's find out. Perhaps what you smelled in your apartment was the stench of your decaying youth. You know, Niles, I learned something at the place. <laughs> if 220 volts of electricity can't hurt me, 300 pounds of butler sure can't. <laughs> well, are you happy to have your little friend home? No, it's all right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, your coffee's ready. <laughs> Maxwell, darling, is that you? Tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> Clap like a chicken. <laughs> what? It turns me on. Mr. Sheffield's been delayed. Did you think I was him? <laughs> if you tell anyone about this... Oh, I'd never do that. We need the eggs. <laughs> you know, Miss Babcock, with Mr. Sheffield and Miss Fine doing so well, no one would fault you if you went back to the asylum for a little jolt. <laughs> Actually, Niles, I think I'm handling it very well. What? I'm just responding to what you said. I didn't say a word. What do you mean you didn't say anything? I distinctly heard you say something about the asylum. Are you insinuating that I am in some way... <laughs> Maxwell, I have found the perfect subject for our one-person play. Your sex life. <laughs> oh, Niles, I didn't recognize you. Wait, stand in Maxwell's shadow. 
<laughs> Cece, for heaven's sake, she's going into surgery. You go on, I'll catch you up later. I can't show up without an escort. Why don't you just inflate one like you usually do? <laughs> what do I have to do to get you to sell me your car? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but would you consider being a workout partner for someone who's trying to get back to a size four? <laughs> back to implies she was there once. <laughs> What would I have to do? Well, all you'd have to do is hold her legs while she does sit-ups, spot her when she does squats, blot the uh, perspiration from her cleavage. Oh, I could handle that. It's a deal. I hope it'll be as much fun for you as it is for me. First thing, could you help me get into this? <laughs> for the past four years. You know, maybe we've been on opposite sides too long. Well, I wouldn't mind getting back at Miss Fine. And we are just the team to do it. All right, from now on, it's you and me, Babcock. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, Niles, this is the best cup of coffee you've ever made. Well, in honor of our new alliance, I must confess, this is the first time I've ever put it in a clean cup. He doesn't give a rat's patootie if I know the kids' names. He cares about his name. Oh, you've still got a shot. Why else would he ask you to look after Sydney? <laughs> when did he do that? I don't know, in the limo, when we stopped for gas. Yetters. <laughs> Dear, I thought he was with you. Sydney! Sydney! <laughs> what is this unnatural obsession Maxwell has with his children? I can count the number of days I spent with my father on one hand. Seven? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I mean the fact that I'm really rich and you're cleaning toilets in a suit, a tie, and rubber gloves. Well, you got me that time. Wait a minute. You're working tonight? You're supposed to be taking me and Gracie to the movies. Daddy Fine, isn't that your job? Maxwell will go insane if he has to see The Hunchback one more time. Then why don't you quit? <laughs> Oh, Niles. Dear sweet, overcompensating for his little spatula, Niles. <laughs> Good morning, Niles. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. I am famished. Napkin. <laughs> well, well. No barbs, no wisecracks. Niles, have you been taking butler lessons? I'm lulling you into a false sense of security. <laughs> Where's Maxwell? He's gone upstairs to discuss with Miss Fine the possibility of having sex in her room. <laughs> oh, there you are. Where did you disappear tonight? Well, I did what Maxwell said. Apparently, I'm the only one who cares about his kids. What are you talking about? Margaret took the children for ice cream. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, it's no wonder with all that running you did, Sydney. He kept trying to get away from me to go into George of the Jungle, but I got him. <laughs> oh, my God, you insane woman. You've kidnapped someone's child. <laughs> what? There is no Sydney. I made him up, you lunatic. Oh, my God, we're going to prison. I stole someone's child? Oh. I thought you were trying to help me. Oh, you baboon. Why would I help you? No, 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 this, this is all my fault. I, I've got to call that theater. Okay, you can go. Here's ten for you, and ten for you. But you promised us fifty. And if you'd remembered the part about needing your insulin, you'd be getting fifty. Maxwell, I adore children. It's a natural thing. A female thing. I hear some females eat their young. <laughs> Miss Fine, we traced your original rash to a food allergen. Have you recently had any gourds? 
pumpkin squash. No, no. Wasn't it any of that chicken you made, Niles, last night, was it? Oh, of course not. That was just roast chicken with sage. Sage? I am allergic to sage. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought time was your enemy. <laughs> Oh, my God, Nanny Fine, don't tell me you're wearing that cheap, tacky dress to meet Richard Porter's oldest friend. I would be caught dead in that dress. You'd have to be dead six months to fit into it. <laughs> I would say that I'm glad you're here because I really need a woman to talk to. Well, aren't you going to say anything? <laughs> what? You mean because she said that you thought I was going to say something about you not being a woman? That is beneath me, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Miles, oh, I'm so glad you're awake. How are you feeling? Is there anything I can get for you? Well, I... I would like another pillow. <laughs> of course. Please, you are a pathetic excuse for a man. Ditto. Stark, help me, help Relax, me. Miss Fine, we'll get it on. No, rip it off. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, I'm so hot. I can't do this standing up. Just, just get on the bed. If you let me tell Miss Babcock about this, I'll work free for a year. I just could not get out of bed this morning. Oh, someone leave a big rock on your coffin again. <laughs> Very funny, janitor shaped like a drum. <laughs> I can't sleep, and I, it can't be the coffee because all I drink here is decaf, right? Of course. <laughs> Why don't I bring a nice cold soda in to pick you up? All right, but make sure it's caffeine-free. Of course. <laughs> oh, poor Niles. Always a best man, never a man. <laughs> hey, what do you think will be the hardest part? Watching your friend kiss the bride or starting every sentence with, no, I don't have a date. Well, I was thinking of asking a tall, voluptuous blonde, but she's moving to Boca. Oh, you are pathetic. All right. If you're that desperate, I will go with you. That doesn't sound like you. Someone leave that on your answering machine. Well... Now you can just forget it. I wouldn't go with you if you begged me. Pick you up a date? Seven. We'll have drinks. Niles, I don't make it a habit of drinking with the help. I've never been any help to you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so tell me, Rochester. <laughs> what'd you do to kill a day before I came along? Well, truth be told, my life was a little empty. But now I have a hobby. I loathe you. I despise you. Servant. Trollop. Bellboy. Brunette. <laughs> Maxwell, Fanny Nine. <laughs> Swine. Chicken. <laughs> Good night, people.